There's Mr. Enviro reporter looking at the sky at big radioactive rain. Whoa. Well, that'll bring him in. Hey folks, it's Michael Collins from EnviroReporter.com. Just about 10 minutes ago, I wiped this sign at the north rim of the Grand Canyon clean of its uh, rainwater. And now we're going to uh, test this rainwater for any possible radioactivity with our inspector. Come on in. Let this thing get uh, associated. We took an average a little while ago. <clears throat> it was uh, about in the upper 40s. Now we're out here. It's about to rain again. It's the 10th anniversary of September 11th. It's the 6th month anniversary of the Fukushima Daiichi meltdowns. Fellow Americans, those meltdowns threaten our country. Look at this heightened radiation in the rainwater over the Grand Canyon. It's gone down in the time I was here. I actually collected this uh, more than 10 minutes ago. I collected it about, well, I put it now about 40 minutes ago. We just came out here about 10 minutes ago. We, we ate in the lodge, and it's gone down from topping out at about 140. Now, if I'm to understand it correct from our friend at Porter Blog, when you see that much of a drop-off in a half hour, you might be seeing evidence of corium fallout contamination. In either case, this here is uh, two to three times over background. It just came off of a little rainwater off this sign at this national park that's your national park. Inside town yeah, sugar. Yeah. Okay, we're going in. Yeah. <laughs> Don't want to block anybody's view. <laughs> that was crazy. Uh, well, it hit right there. There's Mr. Enviro reporter looking at the sky at the radioactive rain. Well, that'll bring him in. Now there is rain on the window. Wow. Look at the wind. I am. Here we are at the Grand Canyon after the rainstorm and lightning storm. Hey folks, Michael Collins, EnviroReporter.com. We're going to check this rainwater again. So we're just going to wipe it right off this sign that's in front of the Grand Canyon on September 11th, 2011, the 10-year anniversary of 9-11, to the day, the exact six-month anniversary of the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear meltdown. So now we're going to take out the inspector, and we're going to see if there's anything in here. 
I don't know if you can see that very well. Let's look at this. Can you see that very well? Okay. It averages every 30 seconds. It's a rolling 30 second average. We're going to let it settle down a little bit because the more seconds it has, it re-averages every three seconds for a 30 second rolling average. It gets more accurate. It's coming down to background. Now, if Denise comes back to this, what I'm going to do to make it easy for us to see it, I'm going to pick it up and then I'm going to hold it over here in the rain to see if we have any more excess radiation. It's very hard to do this because I can't quite see around the detector. You're absolutely picking up excess radiation. You can hear it. Last time we came out here and did this, we uh, found that after 30, 35 minutes or so, that the average went down. And what that says is there's a short half-life to a lot of these uh, radionuclides we're picking up. We're up to 132. 138. We're on the north rim of the Grand Canyon. 140, 142, 138, 146. Radiation does not emit homogeneously. Comes in bursts. That's what you're seeing here. I want to just make sure I'm not touching this to my detector. I'm going to get very close now. This, folks, is not radon prog progeny or radium progeny in the form of radon. That was washed out of the air earlier. This is pure goo from Japan. And we got up to about 140, 148. And now she is. Look at that. How about that, folks? You get such a wild and varied count. And what that has to do with, in part, are it doesn't take that many atoms of radiation to emit. But, but because there aren't that many, just one or two just sort of fading out for a little bit will drop the average tremendously. And here we go and back up again. And we can feel the rain coming down again. And I think we should get out of it. We're going to just wait to see what this tops out at. Now, folks, when you see this happening to your country, you got to ask yourself, what are you going to do about it? Thank you.